Hello and welcome to Nicholas Pages to my unpacking of a standard for Teach Now. I am currently sat in a classroom with no students, that is, as it is the last Monday of school. So to begin with, it's, I need to quickly um, explain that we implement balanced literacy in ELA in fourth grade English. So we are given four units to teach throughout the year. And the one I'm going to talk to about to today is the research-based argument essay. They follow a style of a 15-minute um, mini lesson in which we will have discussions, turning and talking and analysis and breakdowns of things, and then followed by a workshop in which they go and do the thing that we've been talking about. At the end, there is a celebration um, based on the final product. I will explain a little more about this as I unpack the standard. So the standard I have chosen um, is write opinion pieces on topics or texts supporting a point of view with reasons and information. For this book here, this is the main idea with it. So um, that's what I will be working on through this book. In order to get to this, they need to be able to work through these four standards here, among other standards, but these are the four principal ones that I picked out. So the reason why I chose this standard and not the others was because of the project-based learning. Now, in order to understand more about the, the reason why, I'll explain briefly the PBL. The PBL is Shark Tank. The idea is that the students will create a product or an idea that will help solve a social or environmental issue, sorry, an environmental issue with the River Magdalena. Now, the River Magdalena is the main re resource, water resource in Colombia, not just in the city we live in. It is contaminated and it is polluted and it's a very serious issue. The government hasn't haven't poured in that much money into it, so this is a genuine problem with a real audience. So in ELA in English, bear in mind P, this PBL was worked in throughout the whole uh, year in many different subjects, but in my subject area, um, I work on the research-based letter, argument-based letter, which they will write to the mayor of Barranquilla. Now I have direct access to the mayor of Barranquilla because he's a friend of a friend. Um, so I actually sent these letters over, but it will be detailing the problems with facts, the reasons why the mayor needs to address this issue, why they should pick their solution, and how the project will tackle the issue and what future predictions they could have if they choose their product. So the big ideas that they will be gaining from this um, are understanding a lot about researching, the different techniques of researching, why we research and how to research. Differentiating good and bad resources, which is a huge part of researching itself. Um, looking at two sides of an argument, it's very important that um, students appreciate that there are two sides of an argument as they grow up. Obviously, younger children are always quick to defend their own rather than to think of the other side of the argument. Rebuttal, what is rebuttal? How do we use it? What do we do with it? And um, how we can use it every day. Evidence-based arguments, arguably the biggest idea of them. Uh, learning and understanding how to um, convey what you think whilst backing it up, especially in everyday uh, life. All of these big ideas are transferable. Everything I try to teach usually is transferable, but I'm a huge part of growing up and um, being a, kind of a useful member of society is being able to have your opinions and your arguments whilst also being able to back them up. And of course, referencing is a huge part of writing in English, as most of these students will go to university, that they need to understand why we reference and how to do it. We use the AP format. So as I said earlier, um, all of these big ideas are all very transferable to real life. The skills required is that you need basic research skills, aka using a library or a, um, or a computer, which all of them do because we're a technology-based school, to be able to skim, um, to get the gist of an article, to see if it's what they need to read, scanning for particular evidence or particular facts that they can use to help their argument, and intensive reading skills to understand a bigger picture of something. Logic and common sense is needed in all of my classes as it's pretty much my only rule at the start of the year. Um, is even certain things like when to talk, when not to talk, um, when to ask for help or how to do it by yourself, you know, using logic. Okay, if I can't find it here, I know I can fi maybe find it here, and if I can't, I'm going to go ask someone else etc etc. Team working skills will be needed. Each student will produce their own argumentative letter which will show that they know how to write an opinion or argument, an evidence-based argument, but they will be peer assessing 
they will be helping each other find facts. Um, I'm never the first place to go for help, so they always need teamwork and skills. Comprehension skills, of course, to be able to understand something. My lowest students, I will be, I, I did rather create um, articles that they can use and analyze. That's within their Lexile range. So again, this is just the premise of the BPL, that's a Shark Tank project, and they will be writing a letter to the mayor. The overall BPL is that they are creating this idea and they're presenting it and they've gone through all of the stages to get to the final part. Mine is the second part, which is writing the letter. So they will be doing this during the LA among other subjects as well. Now the rubric with regards to assessing, um, because the units of study that we implement are based from Heinemann, um, we have a rubric that we use with them throughout the performance. And I'll quickly go, I'm grade five, but here they call it grade four for some reason I'm unaware of. Um, so I would be giving this to them at the start of the unit and we'd be breaking it down through each part and it shows them um, the different stages, if they will, of, or what grade level that they would be at or those of them that want to be in grade six, they can see what it would take in order for them to reach uh, a grade six level. And it gives them points, so at the end we transfer those points into a grade for them. It's quite extensive, but I would not be giving this to them all at once. It would be broken down into different parts based on the mini lessons that the book want me to teach. Um, I apologize if that was mouthy and if that was confusing, but I'm just coming up to seven minutes now. And I presume that having to watch many of them is tiring. So on that note, I will end it. And any further questions, feel free to ask.